guys, this is Igor Mikta and Video Games, and today I found out this article, which is effectively confirming what we've already knew for months by now. Bloomberg op-ed: We must start planning for a permanent pandemic. Endless cycles of restrictions will remain. So you see here now they are admitting that this will be endless, like we thought it would be. And this is some adult news made by Paul Joseph Watson, an avid fighter against the Great Reset. Now let's see this. Bloomberg has pl published an article by Andreas Kluf, which argues that the new variants of COVID-19 means the pandemic will be permanent and there will be an endless cycle of restrictions. Now, if you were to say that even a month ago, you would be labeled as a conspiracy f theorist loony tone tinfoil hat wearer. Kluf says that the idea that the world will at some point go back to normal is almost certainly wrong. Well, that's because he knows the Great Reset will come. The author cites the ongoing emergence of new vaccines the on no 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 okay again the author cites that the ongoing emergence of new variants that behave almost like new viruses which means we'll never we may never achieve herd immunity when it comes because current vaccines are powerless against the coming mutations. Of course, the Great Reset and Bloomberg and all the likes want, especially Jeff Bezos, all of them want this lockdown to continue forever. Why? Because the government gets complete control, companies like Amazon get complete profits, and everybody else well, they are essentially effed. If this is the evolutionary trajectory of SARS-CoV-2, we're in for seemingly endless cycles of outbreaks and remissions, social restrictions and relaxations, lockdowns and reopenings. At least in rich countries, we'll probably get vaccinated for a couple of times a year against the latest variant in circulation but never fast or comprehensively enough to achieve herd immunity. And we were, and we so-called conspiracy theorists were talking about this at least four months, at least six months ago. At least eight months ago, we were talking about this and the great recent and everything. All this, and now they're admitting it. See, this is the slow boiling, slow frog boiling effect. You don't instantly raise everything because if they knew it would be endless, people will revolt. You do it slowly, and then you rise the temperature, and then the frog is boiled, and you achieve it. But the thing is, we are the frogs that will be boiled under their Great Reset agenda. Despite the fact that the global population has been hit with worse pandemics, which at times it had far less medical expertise to deal with, eventually got over them, Kluf somehow thinks that won't be the case of COVID. Of course it won't be, not because the pandemic is permanent and because the virus is dangerous, but because they'll never have the restrictions. They'll just invent some new scheme, new virus, or something like that to continue this. Kluf is by no means the first to suggest that the pandemic won't end for years if ever. And here and here Klaus Schwab also says that the world will never return to normal. No, they, no, they don't want it to, go, to return to normal. And also they admit that, it doesn't po po that COVID doesn't pose a new existential threat. 
And this is a really important bombshell right here. A senior U.S. Army official sa also said that mask wearing and social distancing will become permanent. Well, CNN's international security editor Nick Patton Walsh had asserted that the mandatory wearing of masks will become permanent and just part of life and the public would need to come to terms with it. Remember, they said it will only last two, ye two weeks. It will only last two months. It will only last two... Two years, something like that. Remember 15 days to stop the spread? Now they're saying it's going to be permanent. Of course, because the Great Reset agenda is going in full swing. Earlier this week, we highlighted a comment of Mary Ramsey, the head of immunization at Public Health England, who said that restrictions would remain in place for years. See what we're talking about, years, they mention it. They want it to stay permanent because they want the Great Reset. Also, I'm going to go on a bit of tangent that really should deserve its own video sometimes later, about mask wearing. Mask wearing as we know it today is not about spreading or stopping the virus, is not about protecting others, nor about protecting yourself. The only thing it does is determine what you consent with. And if you wear a mask, you are basically saying, yes, I consent to do the Great Reset and all the things associated with. So if you don't like a Great Reset, do not wear masks. I'll explain how this works in a separate video, which I was planning to upload and create soon, but I had to make this video today because I saw this article and I want to make a video about it. Anyways, this has been Eagle Mikta and Video Games. Like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Mikta.tv. And goodbye.